Hello, CSE 3200. I wanted to make a video taking us up to uh, a good launching off point for homework one. So I'm going to get you through task one. You still have to do it and show that you've done it, but I did want to get you through this in class. Knowing that I was running out of time, I promised I'd make a video. Here it is. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go and get the assets from our course content. Uh, under the asset collection, under robots, you're going to find uh, six robots, two uh, red, two white, two yellow, one large, one small of each type, a clockwise arrow, and a counterclockwise arrow. Uh, you can download those anywhere you want, desktop, whatever file system you use, pictures. You could even load them directly into your projects if you know how. Maybe that's something you could do in the future. Uh, all right, so I did show people in class what it should look like at the end of task one. This is the visual here, the user interface uh, with a preview. Note that the, uh, the blueprint, um, you know, it looks the way it looks. That's part of the puzzle to make sure it looks exactly like this and not different. Uh, okay, let's see. When we run it, and it looks like it might be running right now. I'm going to stop that and run it again. So when it starts up, all three of the robots should be aligned as you put them in the user interface. And you click outside of any of the uh, image views, like if I click here or there, and the apps, it should do nothing. But if I click on any one of the robots, then it will go in a circle and it will show one of them is large and the other two small. Now, it doesn't matter which one I click on. That time, I clicked on every time. I clicked on the red one. I click on the white one. It does the same thing. I could always click on the big one. It just doesn't matter. So you should be showing that. All right, so I'm going to go File, New, New Project. Um, let's see. You want the one that looks like this in Giraffe, which I will get on this laptop soon. It uh, has a different name, but it should look like this. And we hit Next. I'm going to call this Robot Homework. Doesn't matter what you call it. It's, um, it usually gives me an option whether I want to close out that old window, uh, but it didn't. Uh, we covered in class what all these basics are about. I'm saying that for the people who missed class. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go into the resource file and I'm going to go into the drawable. Right now we've only got these two files, therefore the icon. We are going to bring our assets into that just by dragging and dropping. You might have yours and downloads wherever you put them. You might want to go find them. Uh, for me, let's see, I'll shrink this down a little bit, go into my files, and I have a folder that I put them in. And uh, these are my originals. I'm not going to grab those. But here, I've got all these versions. Um, I'm not sure why that has a white background and those black. Uh, but And that, uh, it's been a while since I made those. But I expect them all to show up the same way. Uh, I could drag and drop. I'm going to go Copy with a Control C. Uh, I'm going to go in here. I can go Paste. So um, I didn't even drag and drop. I just use a Control C and then right click and paste. Uh, lots of ways you could do this. I could have, and I've got these files. Um, I've got those pictures and other files. I could go find them. I could have set them into their file location um, directly. And I'll show you that once here. So let's see. If I go, for me, it would be under C, under Users, that's me. 
uh, Android Studio projects. I have the uh, the files and lots of these. So uh, let's see, under robot assignment, uh, under app, under source, under main, under resources, under drawable, and there they are. So I could grab these and hit copy there, and then I could just go back into the folder, or the project that I had just made, which was robot homework, and I could have gone into the same file and pasted in there. Um, you could have put them in correctly by going into your resource file and adding them that way. So there are multiple options for how to add those files. So this is not the one I want. Let's go here. All right, so I should now have those files. Let's go into activity main XML and I'm going to go into code and I am going to delete this text view. I could delete it in code. I could have deleted it in the design view. I am going to take out constraint layout and I am going to call that linear layout. Uh, I kept these here, and um, these are the XML namespaces, and there are only three, and you get them all three by default. Um, they have slightly different functionality, but I'm just going to leave them in there. Uh, you will need these two lines for your layout width and your layout height. It is required. If I deleted them, uh, then I should get uh, an underline there, and if I hover, it says layout height attribute should be defined, layout width attribute should be defined. So I could paste them back. I could hit Control Z for undo, uh, et cetera. Okay, so I've got the linear layout, and if I go back to design view, it doesn't look any different. I will bring in an image view, and I will set that to King of Detroit robot red large. All right, so I drug in the image view, and because it is a linear layout, it just went to the top. I will do that two more times, bring in an image view, pick the white large, bring in an image view, and bring in the yellow large. Okay, so they all show up they go to the top of the screen, they are aligned horizontally, and that is just our default.